Hmm. You gotta change that. Cheers. Attacked by fucking Jupiter. All right. They confused him. Yeah. Fucking Jesus Christ! Or he took me out in two hits. Fuck. I'm gonna find a fight, my homie. Who you got here? Challenge at all. I didn't even see the challenge. The Jupus is half point. Oh shit, your your guns are maxed bro. I don't think I have other guns for you, Steve. This is downright dismal. <laughs> downright dismal. Spirit shield. Everybody got a shield. I got you. Holy attack. Holy damage. Thunder damage. Thunder. Repel any thunder attack.
But it's not for me, it's for Simon. I think the Gaddy Median S is his strongest weapon. Hold on, I need to pick up the pull up the fucking weapon charts. I need the sub weapons. Just your seven star weapons. Can I, I hate this fucking ad. Get the hell out of here. I don't want you on my sc Oh my fucking Christ, dude. What is the point? What is this? Like... The fuck off of my screen! Wow, oh, this shit is so annoying. Wow, now I can't even close the video. Awesome. What a shitty fucking sight. Jesus Christ. Literally takes up half of my fucking screen and I can't even see the information that I'm looking for. Like, piss off. I don't fucking care about what this Asian whore has to say. the video again, just forcing me to watch it. Can I X this fucking video? Like, why is it here on my screen? Here, fuck you, watch this goddamn video. Yeah, so I got the Pleiades right now, but the Arc Scorpion is the fucking stronger one. Uh, but uh, the fucking dumbass frog isn't telling me what to combine with Pleiades. I should probably just fucking combine Vita Orion with it, but I don't have Vita Orion. Maybe if I had those, you know. That was Jasper's weapons. Alright, Simon main weapon. Because I'm pretty sure the Ganymede is his strongest sub-weapon. Ganymedian.
Oh wait, no, that's his, no, that's his main weapon. The sub weapon is the rocket launcher. That's my job. Like Ganymedian Median Plus is his strongest main weapon, so I don't even need I don't even need to level this up because there's no point in combining it with any Median. I do need to find something to combine with this, because this ain't the top. <laughs> Jeez. I have to lock on them. I don't know why I didn't open them last time. The time has finally come for the door to Eden to open. Still got a bunch more chests to go. Keep going. Just, uh, I need to level up a bunch of my stuff before I go. So, I need to get these stuff anyway. Holy fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a help. Just learn how to fucking throw the sail eyes. Like, holy shit. Alright, let's go. 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 Al
everyone okay? Thank God we're almost done with Jupus. Courage and foolhardiness are not the same thing. We're strong enough to uh, pull you. This is some heavy stuff! Is Jupus casually taking drugs in the middle of battle? This is some heavy stuff. Yeah, hit that Bible on fire, bro. Hey, yeah, uh, go get that fire damage. No damage. Oh yes, very nice. Make me stronger if I keep if I push the top. Mr. Go hyperdrive. Go for it. Steve's power has increased dramatically in this trick. Oh, it's fading, whatever. Can you just kill them? Dollsville. Okay, now we're Steve. The number of beasts keeps increasing. Bring it on. Are you ready? What you got? Just <laughs> oh, Steve does no damage to the robot. That, that, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I got Oh, yeah, I got that. Okay, um, let me switch characters. I want to get that whirlwind, bro. Oh, that is the wrong one. That is the wrong ability. Whirlwind. Desert wind. Here goes! Oh my, is it already over? <sighs> Dope. Voila. Yeah, Zegram is really weak. I need some Zegram weapons. Okay, we can trade Jupus out for Kisala. Oh. That's a Jupus weapon. Oh. We gotta bring Jupus back. That's insane.
Okay, this guy's got me. Was it clean? Turn ice cold. So that ice cream is taken by him. Any injuries, anyone? No use standing around. Come on. First weapon. The time has finally come for the door to Eden to open. Let's go. No, oh, oh, well, dig on. You don't have to go, Mom. No. Hit him with that dead beast thing. Take this. A horrible odor overwhelms the enemy. Oh, I got that shit max. Nice. Them were so close to mastered on the Pleiades. <sighs> ow, just. Oh, fuck. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. That shit hurt. Alright. We got that wind damage, we got that fire damage. Take you 
more he's pressing on, more things. Less he's pressing on, but... Only three. I'll show you that burning strike. Strict level threes don't look as cool as the burning strike level twos. Hmm. to fucking slash us up because she was confused. Don't fall behind, okay? I'll take you on. Entering battle, everyone. Jester! 
for the door to Eden to open. Here they come. Here they come! Are you ready? 
off this Nicolaus. What's going on? <sighs> yeah, I just woke up myself. Like, half hour ago, I guess. Just in time for the the combination. It looks like we need to get rid of some shit. Combine. Voila. Yeah, frog. Yeah. You get the the two. You get the two weapons. You make him eat the weapons, and then he combines them into one weapon, into a stronger weapon. Shit's dope. <sighs> Now that we have your weapon, we need to swap you out for Jupus and level up Jupus's weapon. Mom. Dad. Uh, so basically, I'm just leveling up this last couple stuff before I go on to the new area. So uh, we'll get some story in a second. Well, in a bit, not a second. Steve Wonders? I don't know, dude. Did I hit him? There we go. Another one? There we go, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a third one. I hate my life. Give me that damage boost. Yeah. Well, 1173 for That's her. The, end of that. the Dark Spirit looks like a Pokemon? Goddamn right, it looks like Ghastly. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's the way, uh-huh, I like it. Here they come. It's a bulge again. Like you can do that. Back to it. Oh. That's how you get it done. Shoot to do. Steve is almost mad. No, you stand in yeah. Come on. Only a three hit combo, though. Pick him up, Jupus. Can you pick up the dude? Shit's hilarious. So there's like boxes and shit that you can just like pick up around the map and throw at enemies. But if the enemy is... Well, I say... Oh, yeah, yeah. I say if the enemy is small enough, but well, then you'll see your teammate pick up a fucking giant enemy. But well, yeah, you can legit just pick up an enemy while it's fighting you and then throw it at another enemy. Oh, look, okay, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Look, I picked him up. I got the cone sheet. 
Oh shit, Jupus is Jupus is confused. <laughs> I was wondering, well, Jupus, why are you attacking me? All right, let's get that resurrection. Oh, that's funny. Eat a spicy pepper and fruit okay? fire. There's also all these all these gold dots or chests that I still need to acquire, so It's the Sorry, that wasn't coming. I thought there was more. So everybody has a main weapon and a sub weapon if you haven't realized. Shit's pretty dope. So like I got a sword and a gun. Steve's got his hands and some fucking orbital cannons surrounding him. Jupus, he's got his little staff and his fucking pouch of hockey hockey pucks that he throws at people. I don't know what they are. Be prepared for anything, no matter what. Just keep it on me. has like daggers and shoes. Lilica has like a bow and. Yeah, bro, no, no problem, bro. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, the, the, I'm, uh, I'm just getting those to max so I can combine them or something. Else. But yeah, Lilica's got like a bow and a hatchet. The of beasts keeps increasing. Um, Zegram just has a giant sword and a fucking, uh, like a shuriken. But why? Gigo has an axe and a hand cannon. Um, it's like an arm cannon, it's like on his arm. Here they come! Oh. Oh, Jupus, no. <laughs> he said he was gonna knock him silly and he fucking died. Oh, that's a help. Mr. Rogue! Boom! Get blocked and I got that's my attack how you get it done. <clears throat> oh sweet. Another combination. But yeah, and then yeah, so Dido's got the axe and the cannon, and uh fucking Simon has this fucking like it's basically a flamethrower and then like a rocket launcher. Combine. We wow. got the gigaton arms. Uh, I guess the game doesn't need to be that loud. What's with the, the bow? The, this is Lilica's bow. Is the the Sun Slayer bow? Oh jeez. Okay, so Zegrim kinda weak. So I think we're gonna pull a Simon and Lilica. Okay, I think that's everything that was that needed upgrading, right? Or am I fucking losing my mind? Oh yeah, Jupus still needed upgrading. My bad. Huh? Yeah, I can. I can switch. I can like. 
I can also play as them if I wanted to. Be prepared for anything, no matter what. I forget how to do it quickly, just when you're running around, but like... So like, now I'm Jesus. Thanks, Simon. That was totally Dullsville. <sighs> there it is, yeah, so. <laughs> Radon meteorite, goddamn right. <laughs> we'll play it, Simon. Alright, come on. I want to go to Eden. Alright, calm down, Simon. We'll go to Eden. Oh, let's get that yo-yo shock. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's that's Nicolas. I see, I see, I see. Got you. Must be one of those days. Smoked rainbow newt. <laughs> but yeah, so this is basically just like space pirates, right? So it's like we're pirates, but we're in space, you know, traveling through space and shit instead of on the water. So it's pretty dope. Here, I'll, tra I'll, I'll travel somewhere before I go to Eden so I show you what it's like. He's probably going to use his boat when he goes through the portal to Eden anyways. So I guess we'll just do that. I think it's all G. I'm just a defendant oh, of the person. You mean Jupiter, the blue guy? You mean Jupiter? Fucking this guy? That's just that's just what his that's, that's just what his up. race looks like. That's what his species looks like. They all look like that. Well, some of them are like green and shit, but they all they all look like that. And then I'm pretty sure now I could be wrong about this because Simon wears like all this gear, so you never see Simon's actual face. Well, I'm pretty sure Simon is like a cat or some shit. Because 
Simon was like born and raised on uh, Gerard or something and like most of the people like there's all kinds of different species on Gerard but like you know most of them are like they're cats you know and I think Simon is a cat this is. but I'm not 100% sure Bro, you should see the let me let me pull out Digo, you'll fucking get a kick out of that. Is there another panic? Nope. challenge at all. Check him out, bro. The homie Digo. He's a fucking army veteran, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> he used to go on missions for the military. <laughs> Huge wolf. Yeah, I know, right? He got a big ass fucking robot arm. When when I got to his part of the story, it was funny because like we had we had already kept seeing like a little old dude that was like I'm gonna take a bong rip, but we kept seeing a little old dude that was like an archaeologist. So I'm all like, all right, this guy's gonna be our next team member, right? But then we walk into a bar, everybody looks normal except for the fucking giant ass dog with the battle axe and the robot arm. I'm like, okay, this guy's clearly our next fucking character to play as. I'm like, that's hilarious. It was like too easy to spot. It's like, there's no way he's not the next character we play as. The only reason I thought the archaeologist dude was because I was playing uh, Dragon Quest. Can't remember which one. I was playing one of the Dragon Quest. I think it was like Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest Heroes Two, I think. Um, and you like you play out, you start playing as these two people, and then you get a chick with a giant axe, and then as you progress through, you find like some old dude who stumbled into your world from his world or something. I never really finished the game, but it was had a pretty cool concept. I like Dragon Quest, but it's just like, reminded me of Trials of Mana, and it was very linear, uh, doing the same shit over and over and over again. I want to play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Trying to get Jupus up before we go to Eden. The bong is grass. Or, yeah, bro, smoking that weed. Smoking that weed out of the bong. Yeah, gra grass be that weed. That good cook. It's like weed. You know, like that good good. Yo yo shop. Uh, uh, 
Okay, two more battles and then we can go to eat. Well, I'm gonna get all these chests and then we're gonna go to eat. But two more battles and Jupus is good. Trials. Give me that chest, baby. We got the Myriad branch. Without taking damage, uh, can we get maybe <coughs> a yo-yo shock from Jupus? Skip it, didn't kill everything. Uh, oh, that's because there's panics. Kill yourself. Alright. Uh, okay, we'll get the, the desert wind. How many panics were there? Oh, okay. Okay, there's two panics. Maybe we can do this. Okay, that's one. I think I got the second one. Here goes. Oh, I, I did not end up getting the second one. Come on, gun, come back to me. Come on, gun, please. And they took damage. Lovely. Lovely. How hard is it? What, like, how fucking hard is it to just stay away from the enemy while my gun is recharging? Like, holy fucking shit. Ugh. Wow. It's just a burning strike, I guess. Level 2 is way cooler than level 3. Level 3 doesn't have this little sword slash right here. This bunch of things. Yeah, level 3 doesn't have that and it doesn't look as cool. So. That was a cinch. Uh, won the chest. Oh, I guess I directly didn't take any damage, but but Jupus took damage. Other times I've done that challenge and I didn't take any damage, but my teammates took damage. I still lost the challenge. So that's why I gave up. No matter what. A wall giga. Gigan has gone man. Give me those burning, those burning strike or Those guys were no challenge at all. No challenge at all. All right. Some combining for the homie Jupus. Milk. Cereal. Combine. Ooh. Voila. Right. It's not 300 or anything, but you know, I guess it'll work. So there's my two strawberries. Three hundo, two eighty nine. I feel like Lilica is definitely one of them. Three hundo. Looks like Kasala is one of the strongest. It's not Steve. Yeah, definitely not Steve. Uh, it's not Digo. It ain't fucking Digo. So I think it's gonna have to be Lilica and Kasala. I only have lower code because I'm pretty sure the call is like 16 or 17. And Lilith is like 30 or some shit. I think anyway. 
That's how you get it done. I don't even remember what the challenge was. Often are the giants. Uh, pretty often. It's kind of annoying. I don't really get to pick and choose. I think it's like random, but there are, you know. There, there were times before you hopped in that I was fighting like, like three encounters were like five wall gigants. Pretty common. Okay, I think that's all of the chests. Now I just need to hit up that transporter teleport back. Okay, so Nicholas, I know that I've made this. So I've made videos for this game before, so anybody that's returning is watching But just to let you know, before we get into the cutscenes, I remind you this is a PlayStation 2. I think it might have been remastered a little bit for like the newer consoles, but it's still a PlayStation 2 game. So bro, just get ready for those goddamn cinematics. Like, Everyone okay? You ain't ready, my guy. Like maybe it don't look like Elden Ring cinematics, but this ain't a PlayStation 5 game. We're not on the wrong path, are we? Hey, shouldn't you save soon? I will save and I'll shut the see this is why I hate having Kasala on the team. Because when you have Kasala on the team, her voice lines are all shouldn't you save soon? Or if you've been playing for five hours straight, she's all like, hey, you've been playing for a long time, you know? Or like, maybe you should take a break, some shit like that. I'm like, Kasala, kill yourself. I don't need the game telling me when I should take a break, alright? I'll take a break when I wanna take a break. <laughs> Those guys were no challenge at all. But I should say, because like if you die in battle, then it's game over and you go back to the title screen. So, so saving is really important. But still, that's so why you gotta keep on it with the fucking heals and all that shit. <laughs> Uh, not, like, not, like, delete progress, com but, like, basically, yeah, like, if you die in battle, you get the game over on your screen, and then you go back to the title screen, and if you haven't saved during what all you had done, then it's only your recent save, and there's no auto saves, right? So it's only your recent save. So if you played for four hours and got a game over, you just lost four hours of progress. And it's the same thing on this other PlayStation 2 game that I play. <laughs> Yeah, like if you're not uh, if you're not you know on it on your fucking healing, then you, you know you got a game over. And if you're not on it on your saves, then you you, know, you got to restart. Yeah, but it's fun, you know. It really keep, keeps you on your toes. Mm. But like you know, when like really early on in this game, when you're not strong at all, it almost feels like Elden Ring, where you get hit once and you need to fucking heal up, but like I can get hit a couple times now that I'm pretty late game, you know, but like early game, like you get hit once, you need to like back up heal, and like most of the time, cause like you saw I could use like abilities and shit, 
most of the time I was just using abilities to kill enemies because they were way too strong for me to just attack and kill them. But now I have the strongest weapon in the game pre-end game. Because like after I beat the game, there's still some after after story stuff that I can do in the game and get stronger weapons than what I currently have. But but I can't get them until I beat the game. So the weapon I have in my hands right now is the strongest Jaster can use at this time. Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah. They got these weapons for Jaster called the, they're called the Seven Star Swords. And see, I got like, I got two of them right here. They're only level 12 and level 17. But you, you upgrade them. Uh, so I get, you know, like everything has their like, so like you can do it here, like, like you can take the frog and like analyze something that's like strong and be all like, what do I, yeah, it's like, I'd recommend combining that shit with jewel dragon, right? You know, so like. They have like specific things that you could combine it with to get a higher weapon or whatever. But uh, but with the seven with the seven star swords, you need you need a specific one. And like if you have like uh, like Earthshaker is max, so he won't say anything. But like if you had like like if you if you had if your stats were maxed out, like at the level your little bar that you need to combine it. If you had that maxed out on a seven star sword, he'd be all like. I don't know what to combine it with, right? You need to, like, access the weapon... weapon charts on the World Galaxy Wiki and, like, find out exactly what you need, find that weapon, and then combine it... and then max that out, and then combine it with this to, to then get the next set of, like, the Pride of Kings. So there's Pride of Kings, and whatever... It's probably going to be Pride of Kings 2, and then there'll be Pride of Kings 3, and then the fourth one will have a new name. Like, this one was Desert Seeker. So it was Desert Seeker, then Desert Seeker 2, Desert Seeker 3, and then it became Earthshaker, right? And it's only level 40, and it fucking, you know, 373 power at level 40. Yeah, combining is very important, very fucking important. There's so many we there's so many different weapons that it could turn into. Because you start down, you start down at level 1, right? And there's like, there's like 5 weapons, but so like when you get like... <clears throat> So I don't know if this, like, I don't know if the Vice Predator is the first tier in the Vice Predator's thing, but the, uh, cause like, I don't know if you recall, but when I, when I combined the two weapons of Jupus, there was a blue weapon that looked exactly like the green one I have right now. That's because there's five different tiers of that one weapon that looks that way. So it's like they all do different amounts of damage or whatever. And then there's like, you know, all they all have different styles. So this one also has four other different variations that have different colors, but all have the same shape of the hatchet. And it's the same for the boots, the daggers, the bow, you know, all, all across the board. So there's so many weapons you could be getting from level one to level 50. You know what I mean? It's just like, holy shit. And then you, you even got like the frog log. So like you can see like, like what you've combined. See, like see, see this, these are some of the other swords from the beginning of the game. So like you combine these and then you get that. And then like, as you get stronger, where they got these better fucking weapons. Like look at all this shit. It's just insane. Then, you know, and then you got like Kasala's weapons. Or, you know, they just all have, there's so many different ones. I didn't do a lot of, like, th this is only from, like, I think when I analyze them and then go off the analyzation, it only puts it in the frog log. But yeah, see, they all got fucking different. They all look different, and they all have different tiers of shit. Because, <laughs> look, 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 there's that iron, there's the, that, that iron one right there, iron demon, and then the demon's bane. And then that gold one right there is Vajra's Might. So that's three tiers right there, there in like one category of weapon. And then look, Lunar Glint. And then I think it would also, the Lunar Glint would also have the Half Moon Rising as well as the Spectral Gleam EX. And then Vajra's Might EX. So the, the EX, that would just be the fifth tier in whatever weapon you're looking at. Because like, so technically there's four tiers and then the fifth tier would just be like, 
an upgraded version of the fourth tier, hence the EX, or like, let's see if I can find another one. Uh, yeah, so there's EX, and then... I think they might be all EX, but I, I'm, I know there was other ones. That's weird. Maybe on the on the sub weapons? No, still still all EX. Oh yeah, see look, yeah yeah, see Moon Bay X. So it's not just EX, but like yeah, see Gale Goddess Hatchet Z, and then yeah, and then Gigaton Arms Z. So it's like you know they have like specific ones. Okay, let's get to this fucking cutscene. Enough talking about the game. Who knew that Eden and the Star King were related? Okay, something belongs in here, and I don't know what it is because I haven't played the game in so long. So we're gonna just. Try and figure it out, okay? Let's see here. Eternal key plate. Hug up by the sun. Star pendant. We got the keys. Okay. Y'all think it's the eternal key plate? Let's go. We got it. First try. <laughs> okay, here are the cinematics. the gate to Eden. Jaster! A gate showed up in space! We're leaving now! So get back on board right away! There's our ship. There's our space pirate ship. Yeah. A gate floating in space. Are we supposed to go in there? Yeah, bro. Sure does look really cool. My, my, this is fantastic. They say Eden civilization is considerably advanced. Seems kind of like overkill, don't it? We must have some great treasure inside. It's gonna be a whole planet, So it's right on the other side. Eden. The Phantom Planet. It's like Dice an ancient civilization. Mari Glenn. We finally arrived. Captain, <laughs> are we ready to enter the gate? No, not yet. Listen up! Eden is finally within our grasp. Who knows what's waiting for us behind that gate? Could be unending riches. Or it could be... An unspeakable hell. Do whatever it takes to get good and ready for anything Eden might throw at us. That's our captain, by the way. That fat guy with the beard. Oh, we're gonna have some romantic interactions with Kasala? How come you called me out here? Oh, Do yes. You need something? Please. Please. Jester, there's something I want to tell you. <laughs> yeah, beard huh? guy's always captain. I'm nervous about getting any closer to Mari Glenn. Uh, the, uh, the little cat is the first mate. won't be able to be with everyone anymore. It's a scary feeling. And it's only getting worse. Kisala. I have a strong tie to Mari Glenn because of who I am. And I'm sensing that something horrible is about to happen. Hmm. Something huge. And... And awful. It's Jaster's penis. That's what's huge and awful. Jaster! Yes, give it to her, Jaster, yes! 
Yes, make her the Star Queen. <laughs> the sixth sense. Jaster's Jaster and I'm me, it's nothing to worry about. Good. Good. Fucking. Get that fucking. Yeah, gonna have cheeks tonight. Hell yeah. Hell fucking. Yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Gonna get some cheeks tonight, baby. All right, let's get going. Then what are you waiting for? We gotta set out for Eden. Grab your gear and let's get moving. Uh, old games like these also don't tell you what to do once you complete a thing, so you gotta figure it out. So it's also kind of like Elden Ring in that respect. Yeah. He's the supposed father of Kasala, but then we found out that Kasala is actually from Eden, so Kasala was adopted. So, this is a whole other galaxy. Oh, wow, Let's what? See. Uh, I guess that makes that the sense. Is a type of wormhole. There is a good chance that we are no longer in the Wilhurzer system. Look over there. Whoa! Now that's a gorgeous planet. That must be. We're the good guys. I mean, like we're we're technically pirates, so like, you know, pirates are inherently bad, but there's like an evil corporation that's like like there's a corporation that is like political and like saying that they're good to the people but they're trying to get to Eden to you know power their evil plans so in a sense we're the good guys but we're still pirates you know like like chapter I'll put it like chapter three or chapter four we were literally thrown in prison you know so like you know like we're, we're technically the good guys we're still pirates. Looks like it's a highly civilized planet. Finally, we made it. What treasures could it hold? The only oh, reason we got man. thrown in prison. They must be out of this world. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Look. Hmm. Yeah, it's just uh, we kind of like defeated him before we went into the labyrinth, so I don't think he's gonna be a problem anymore. Is that some kind of tractor beam? It's like they're inviting us in or something. Hmm, as if they always knew that we'd be coming. I don't know. I'm not buying it. Don't you think it's kind of unusual that such a civilized bunch of let us outsiders just waltz right on in like this? Yeah, but what else can we do after coming all this way? I'm pretty sure the We've gotta take our chances and land. A lot to do with Eden, so maybe they can sense What's that your take on it, Captain? On the ship. Just like Jaster said, ain't no use in running and hiding now. We might as well accept their hospitality. Yes, sir. We'll follow that guide beam mm. then. Ah. What's that? That's a fucking demon is what that's what that is. Hell yeah. Beasts. See? Told you we were being set up. What the look at them all! I've never seen so many beasts! 
Oh, not even the Dorganak is a match for a swarm like that. Captain, what should we do? Break out the big guns. Fire them at that huge fella there. Aye, aye, sir. I'll start charging them up right away then. Big guns? That's right. It's our number one weapon, attached to the bow. No enemy in the world can survive an attack from the big guns. <laughs> They're literally called the big guns. I thought that, I thought he just said that. I thought I thought he just said the big guns because he didn't want to say the name. I thought that's fucking funny. Ice and lightning. Holy shit, we're getting fucked up, dude. Oh, not enough time to charge up. What do we do now? Uh, annoying little twerps. This isn't good. The ship won't stand much more of this. <laughs> Look. Are they getting help from Eden? Wow! They're really knocking him down, eh? Oh, it's nice to have someone on our side for once, isn't it? Hey, don't they look like the robot we met in the labyrinth? I think you're right. They must live on this planet. They're trying to protect us. Well, if that's true, that must mean Eden didn't send the beasts in the first place. Gee, Zegrim never Captain, trusts a damn soul. The big guns are charged up and ready <laughs> to fire. About time. Have a taste of this, you build scum. Fire! Let them have it, Steve. Fire! Firing big guns. Whoa. I was not expecting that. Yeah, Steve pretty damn cool. They're pulling back. Sure gave us a run for our money though. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that'll teach you to mess with us. You stinking piles of crap. <laughs> hey, it looks like they're escorting us down to their city. Hmm, I need to stop eating these sour candies. The one in blue? You mean Simon? It's like the city goes on forever. That's strange. For some reason, it feels so familiar here. Of course it does. It's because you were born here. But mm. I was just know exactly what to I say, Jasper. You fucking Riz Lord. Uh, oh yeah. Still, I feel kind of nervous. Hey, look at that. They're you mean this guy? Because that's that's that grim. Got a big shot around here. Welcome to Mariglan. You have journeyed far. This place is known throughout the galaxy as Eden. I am Freddy. That's no dwarf, I'm telling you. Of this planet. We have been waiting for your arrival for a long time. <sighs> Welcome home, Iria. Do you remember me? Are you my mother? <sighs> finally. Oh, finally. 
Please say no. Oh, did she nod? I didn't see her nod if she had nodded. Oh, what's all this? So Kisala must be. That's right. She's the daughter of the Queen of Maryglen. That makes her a princess. Jester! You knew all about this? Well, uh, Kisala asked me not to tell anyone. Why you? I'm gonna murder you! <laughs> okay, I, I think you were talking about Simon. Welcome to Mari Glen. You must the, be weary from your journey. The little kind of big guy with the blue outfit. To regain your strength. Rest here way, for a spell. Queen, I heard Eden, eh, Mary Glen, holds the most prized treasure in the universe. I'm really fixing to know exactly what kind of treasure they could be talking about. Think you could show me? Most prized treasure, you say? Well, I'm not sure whether they qualify exactly, but we do have an abundance of precious stones and the like here on our planet. But I am not sure as to whether they are the treasures you seek. Well, what do you know about this eternal soul thing? Because I, uh, well, as a pirate, you see, the thing is, um, I'd really like to get my hands on it, so, um, yeah. How could you say that? That's just Come who he on. is. This is what we pirates do, Kisala. Eternal soul. Yes, the eternal soul does indeed exist on this planet. Oh, then it's true. Uh, wonder if you couldn't, uh, you know, let us uh, have it. Uh, Papa, will you cut it out? Papa? Uh, I see. So you must be the one who raised Irius. I don't know how I can ever thank you for what you've done. Very well. Yeah, I know, right? You shall have all the treasures you can find on Mari Glen. Let's go! Really? Do you mean it? And the eternal soul, too? That, unfortunately, we do not have. For that, you'll have to see Mother. Mother? Okay, sounds good. So all we have to do is go ask this Mother person then? <laughs> loot that I'm place till that it's not empty. Possible. Mother never deigns to listen to us. Seems I'll need to tell you everything. The sad tale of Mari Glen. Bro, we're in for I a huge fucking lore dump. How we ended up where we are today. Now I'm gonna turn it up and mute my mic. Once upon a time. Mari Glen was the most technologically advanced planet in the entire Wilherser system. But one day, the evil energy known as Rune appeared on our planet and began to eat away at Mari Glen. Rune is composed of forbidden energy that gives life to the lifeless. As I'm sure you have already witnessed firsthand, those who fall victim to the Rune gain new life as monsters. Rune does not discriminate. No one can withstand its influence. Even worse, the Rune monsters on Do you hear that? The Rune doesn't discriminate. That means it's gonna take the Blacks, the Germans, the Jews, the fucking... Sorry, I only said Germans because you're here at Nikolaus, but it's gonna take everybody. It don't discriminate. Okay, back to the lore dump. This planet are several times stronger than those you've encountered in the Wilherser system. This is because Mari Glen is home to a fearsome force that is the source of all rune. Mother. I see. Stronger beasts? You know what that means. That means more XP, baby. And I need like 60k XP to level up for Jaster, so that'll be nice. So... Mother is the cause of all the beasts that exist throughout the galaxy. Exactly. Once our planet was in Mother's grip, there was nothing we could do. 
except to wait for the inevitable. The room that Mother released would eventually strip this planet bare. And once our world was destroyed, it would move on to another planet and repeat the same process. My guy, you don't even know. So like, I, like literally, literally the videos for are called the Rogue Galaxy Grinding Experience. When I started doing this, it was just called like Rogue Galaxy Gameplay, just like all of my other videos. It's just whatever the game is and then gameplay and then whatever number it is. But I was grinding for so much, like I, a whole bit, like, because I could have easily went to chapter four in one video, but I grinded on the first planet for like the whole video, maybe half the video, and then grinded on the next planet for the rest of the video. And then like two videos after that, just to get strong enough for the third chapter. You know what I mean? Like, it's a fucking grind, this game, like hardcore grind, more than I've ever seen in any other game. Like, well, Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 is a pretty big grind as well, but I haven't streamed those games. I'm going to have to. I've been meaning to. I need to. I feel like I should just. I'm at the end of the game of Dark Cloud 1. I should just, like, play it, upgrade my magic chick, remember how to fight the final boss, beat the final boss, and then do, like, the after game shit, and then restart Dark Cloud 2. Because Dark Cloud 2 has a bunch of stuff. Like, has a crafting system, and you can, like, take pictures of shit. Uh, in the real world to, like, put, like, make inventions out of. Uh, but there was a bunch of pictures that I missed, and, like, I'm way too fucking weak to continue on the story where I am on Dark Cloud 2 currently, so I need to restart and, like, play it from the beginning. But, like, it's 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 a lot like Rogue. Like, Rogue Galaxy is maybe a bit more advanced than those two games, but it's got, like, combinations and shit. Dark Cloud 1, there's six playable characters, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Dark Cloud 1, there's six playable characters. And then Dark Cloud 2, there's two playable characters. But you get, like... Um, <clears throat> so, like, in Dark Cloud 1, uh, so there's six playable characters. And they all have, like, uh, a weapon that they use. So, like, there's the main, the main character has, like, a sword. And then the second character has, like, um, a fucking slingshot. And then the third character has, like, an axe or a hammer. Uh, like, that, like as you upgrade the axe, it could turn into... Or as you upgrade the hammer, it could turn into an axe. And then, um, fucking... And then the fourth character is, like, magic. And then the fifth character, I think, is, like, a spear. And then the sixth character is, like, a gun and shit. Yeah, people are leaving because I'm fucking explaining other games, but I don't fucking care. Um, and that... So once you go into the second game, they switch it. So, like, two... You get two playable characters, and one character gets, like, um, a wrench or a hammer once it, like, upgrades into a hammer. And then he gets a gun in his hand, in his left hand. And then the chick gets a sword uh, or and a fucking magic ring. So you still get four of the weapons from the first game in the second game, but they took out the spear and the slingshot because it ain't necessary. Sorry, back to the lore dump. Rune is like a voracious microbe that feasts on planets. We quickly realized that unless we somehow stopped her, Mother would eventually destroy the entire galaxy. That is why I decided to seal Mari Glen into a space-time cleft, into a galaxy in a different dimension. That was the only choice we had. Everything we did was for the protection of our beautiful galaxy. So, you sacrificed yourself to save the galaxy. How very sad indeed. I wish there was another way we could stop Mother. But unfortunately, we had no choice. You must understand, I love this planet very much. Greetings, May Guzman. Welcome to the stream. I could not hand it over to Mother without a fight. Desperately, I tried to figure out a way to save it somehow. There is only one person who could stand up against Mother and win. And that is the Star King they spoke of in Legends. 
Our greatest prophets predicted that the one who carried the Star King's soul would appear in 10,000 years. Believing their words, I sent Ragnar to each planet in Wilhurser, placing keys on each one that could open the gate to our world. It was a gate that only the one with the Star King's powers could open. It was the gate of hope. Arius, you were still just a baby back then. I was sure you could live in peace during the reign of the Star King. So I left you to Ragnar. I did not want to see you grow up in a world controlled by Mother. I wanted you to carry the blood of the Mariglen people into the future. Mom! After we made all the preparations, we waited many long years for you to open the gates of time and arrive on our planet. So that's how it happened. Now that the gate has been unsealed, Mother is sure to use it to bring her malice to other planets, just as soon as she destroys Mariglen. Please, help us defeat Mother and bring peace to this planet, as well as the entire galaxy. I get it now, Mrs. Queen. Just leave it to us, all right? Yeah. I don't know if I'm as strong as all that, but I'm prepared to give it a shot. We'll fight for you, Mom. I promise. For this planet, and our entire galaxy, we're gonna defeat Mother. Thank you, Irith. And thank you all so much. I believe in you. I believe in your powers. Please help us Mari Glendens learn to smile again. A man named Yuvan waits for you near the South Gate. Go speak with him. He will lead you on your way. Okay, but like, can I explore the Go castle forth, and take warriors. your chest? Wait, let me get this straight. Pirates fighting to save someone? Since when are we so charitable? Yeah, well, what about it? Look, this planet... Well, you were listening, weren't you? Like, you understand why we're fighting her, right? It's just that, uh, what was it? So, um... So she said mother, and then, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, so, yeah. But, like, it's, just don't think of it as somebody's mother. That's just her name. That's just what they call her. I, it might not even be a her. That's, it might just be an entity, as in, like, you know, all, like the all mother or, like, God or some shit like that. That's just the word they use to describe this being, you know? Don't think of it as somebody's mother, and then it won't be weird for you. Or I won't confuse you. What a terrible waste it would be if it all got eaten up by Rune. We'll get our share of them as a reward, I'm sure. Or you could just call Trust it Rune, me, like he did. Hmm. You know, if you just the so. Yeah, just Besides, the title. You get it, you, you get it. a good it. look at Kisala's ma? She's a looker. <laughs> How can you say no to a woman like that, huh? <laughs> I mean, Zegram has... I figured as much. Zegram has a woman in his life already. I'm pretty sure she's dead, but, uh, you know, he's like... Complete chapter. I'm pretty sure Zegram ain't that kind of guy. Ooh, we got a chest! I'm a fucking looter. Fuck Zegram, I'm picking up this chest. Perfect reviver. Dope. Ooh, we got some chests behind the Let's queen. Let's look for that Yuvan guy. Hello. Used the sun key. Ooh, her majesty's attire. Loot all. Yes, I'm gonna loot everything I can. Everything I possibly can. We got a new outfit for Kasala. What she look like? Get over here. Kasala, where you at? Oh my, oh my. God damn, oh my god. Listen, I know she's like 17, but like, l listen, listen. I'm in Jaster's body right now, technically, really so I'm also 17, legends. so I can say it, and it's not weird. She's a video game character, so it, also it's not weird. Bro, more chests? Give me that loot. Ooh, what the fuck was that? That was a brain. 
mermaid scale. I can't believe they waited for 10,000 years. The factory is on Red Galaxy. That shit is so, that factory shit is so annoying, I'm telling you. I can't believe the source of the room was an evil. We got some lubricant. Getting freaky. We came in from there, right? There we go. No, we came from up top. <laughs> Can we go through here? Our power. Will it get more, more chests? Mother? More chests? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's a shop too? Bro. Bro. Bro, weapons, please. Hey. Holy fucking Jesus Christ, Kasala. He's just like such a complaint, bro. She just fucking complains and complains and complains. Like, uh. Okay, what you got? Mid. I mean, like, I don't need anything for, for him. Mid to a 289 could be good though. Oh, 291. Oh, that's better. As a, that's the orbital cannons though, I think. Okay, so we need better orbital cannons. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I do got half a mil. Um, what are Steve's hands right now? We got the, the spike balls, right? But like. What are they? What level are they? 46. With that 296. I'm sure anything he's got for Zegrim is going to be better than what I got for Zegrim. Yeah. So this is also 40. So this isn't like all that worse than the fucking other one. So I'm going to pick these up and level those up and then combine those two to get something stronger. Then I'm gonna level that up because I just bought it and then combine the one I have and it's gonna be stronger. Um, I don't need anything for him. I mean, yeah, that's weaker. That's stronger. Is that a rocket launcher or. I can't tell. I think it is. So I'm just gonna pick it up. Yeah, see, this definitely stronger. I need that. Uh, Moonbeam bow. I already had that. That's what I that I used this, combined it with something else to get what I currently have. <laughs> currently got that. I have something higher than this. Ancient Scroll three. Do I even need it? We got a bunch of revelation shit we gotta figure out. And this is where my abilities come in. I get all of these items and I have to fucking use them in these slots to get ability. Did I? Have I maxed it out? Oh no, I still gotta... I still got like three more abilities and I've maxed out Jasters. Uh, four. Four more abilities and I've maxed out Jasters. Okay, Digo probably needs that. Okay, it won't fit. Yeah! I mean, like, I guess. Like, first, uh, like, like, right at the beginning, it, it was pretty confusing. But, you know, it gets pretty easy. Because it just get like, get, uh, covering fire, now covering fire level 2, right? And then you just get, you get all these items. And, like, most of them are just, like, late game. You can just, like, wait, you know? Like. <laughs> but did I get his, do you have Burning Strike level 3 already? Do you even have Burning Strike at all? Yeah, okay, you got Burning Strike level 3. There we go, Zagrim got the Burning Strike level 3. Okay, is that everybody? Does everybody got it now? Steve got it. Jupus got it. Simon got it. Digo got it. 
I know Lilica got it, I know Casal, and I know I have it. Alright, everybody got the fucking... Don't need any more ancient scrolls. Don't need to waste money on that shit. Swordsman... Oh, bro, I don't have that fucking... I don't have a platinum license. God damn it. Should I just pick up a moonbeam bow and combine it with whatever I have? I feel like it's not even gonna be good, but like, whatever. It's like 283 and that's like pretty weak. And this is our main weapon, but... Platinum license? No, it's a... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's something that you buy from the black market or so. I could just look it up. Mio, but you have to get two other ones first. Silver, yeah, okay, so I have to get a silver license and then a gold license. Uh, okay, platinum, okay, here we go. Forum. I need a platinum card to purchase it. I haven't seen anything about it. It's gonna also, I'm at level 40, have a nice weapon to master. Yeah, I need to You can buy licenses in the Galaxy Corporation on Zerard. So it's not Gerard, it's Zerard, my bad. Uh, you have to buy them with hunter coins. If you haven't ever bought a license, then it'll take about 120 hunter coins to get straight to a platinum license. I have 68 hunter coins, so I need at least double what I I need at least double what I need, how many hunter coins I have now to uh, if I want to get. The platinum license. Oh yeah, the Mio fan club card. Fuck that whore. She's the one who put us in. Yeah, she's the one who put us in jail. That Mio bitch. But uh, yeah. So and uh, I don't know if you realized from like earlier when I was doing them, but like when the game presents me, like, I'm pretty. I, there might be other ways, but when the game presents you with like a challenge. Oh, uh, when you kill a mimic, you know, like when you open a chest and it turns out to be a mimic instead of an actual chest, that also happens, but, um, but you get hunter medals from those as well as when the game presents you with a challenge during an encounter and you, like, complete the challenge, like it ends and you say, won the challenge, and then you get hunter coins or hunter medals, but it's only, like, one per encounter, or, like, per challenge or whatever, right, so... So it'll take a while before I get 120. And I'm not very good at the fucking challenges either. Okay, what are, what are we doing on these weapons here? Okay. <clears throat> do you like do you like my outfit with Jaster? I got another one. I, I kind of like this one because it's like pirate outfit. But I got this fucking jungle outfit from like the second or from like the third chapter it's pretty dope it's pretty nice it's got, it's got that little nice like don't like we have green, to hurry green and white yeah shut the fuck up lilica i'm showing the homies my fit bro i got two babes hell yeah dude yeah yeah this one was good for a while and as soon as i got the the pirate outfit, I was like, oh my god, this shit looks fucking sick. Like, he's got a bandana. And I mean, it just looks so nice, dude. Okay, we, we need to get some loot up in this bitch. And the render distance is, like, kind of mid, so, like, we gotta run up to, like, actually find each other. Move on. It's gated off. Mid. We'll just have to do this. Why he belly free though? Oh, nah, eh, nah, it ain't armor. It's purely, it's purely cosmetic, 100% cosmetic. But why? Oh, I got an ancient scroll. Lovely. 
some magic lipstick. Nah, fam, it 100% cosmetic. It had nothing to do with armor. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, I'm, I'm looting. Yo, ca yo, my <laughs> Nikolaus is- <laughs> You're Kasala, bro. You're all like, oh, it's the other way. I'm all like, bro, I'm looting. Calm down. I, I'm, I, that was a joke, by the way. You're not as annoying as Kasala. You could never be. We got a we got a chest with a lock on it. That's got to be good loot. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Bro, bro, bro! I got the weapon that I'm currently using, and that might mean that that is a a very very real and possible chance that we could get the strongest gun in the game. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so like, okay, so like. The the crafting require the com the combination requirements for the 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 best gun for Jaster uh, is the Code of Justice and the Xenon High Dash EX and I had those but I had the Code of Justice plus like the EX bullshit so it gave me Pleiades instead of the best weapon. You know, the game fucked me because I didn't have Code of Justice. I had Code of Justice Plus. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like I was so mad. You have no idea how fucking pissed I was, bro. Yes, I know CAS, bro. Like, it's insane. But the Pleiades, bro, the, bro, the, I might have a chance. I might have a chance. Bro, oh my god, dude. The game, you have blessed me. Yeah, it didn't want me to have the good around. thing. It's all like, fuck you, you have to do more work. I'm like, no. But like, you know, like, it makes sense though, because there are, you know, when you look at like the crafting forms and shit, it does say specifically if it needs to be a plus or We're not. not like if path, it needs to we? be a plus, it'll say this gun and then whatever the plus is, like EX or some shit. So like, like it was my fault in that regard but i was just like i was just hoping you know i was just hoping the game would like nice me but it didn't nice me it fucked me we got divine protection right? what do those do again ah, hello to raise all allies immunity to status ailments for a period of time bro that's just dope Is that a lock on the chest I see? Tis not. Isn't there a better way to go? Shut the fuck up, Jaster. Oh, it's rigged with a trap. Okay, Nikolaus, I'm gonna let you choose. Which which one do you think it is? Uh Honestly, like don't say thief's trap, because like I actually you know what? Pick whichever one you want. I was gonna say don't I was gonna say don't say thief's trap, because like even if it is, it, it doesn't take away that much money, but like, you know. Just like whichever one. Which one do you think it is, Nicholas? Do you think it's a bomb trap? Do you think it's a cursed trap? Do you don't know? But do you think of the bomb bomb trap? Okay. Could not disarm the trap. The group's AP dropped to zero. I like bombs, dope. Is it ability points? Ah, uh, yeah, that's that was that was that was literally nothing. Watch this. Watch, watch this. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Look, now my AP is back. See, see, see how useless that cursed trap was. It was hilarious. I don't even know what I got from that because I was focused on the. Right here, I don't think I... Yeah, see, 
unconscious gut reduces the chance of unconscious status and also offers some elemental protection. That's pretty cool. Where do I equip it? Oh, on the shield thing. Oh, we'll give that shit. No curse. Yeah, we'll give that shit to Lilica. Yeah, it's not really a cur It's just like, you know. Oh, there's still other weapons we need to equip on the homies. Yeah, I mean, we can just, like, discard that because we already have the strongest thing we can have for, um, for Simon. The, the Ganymedian S, bro. Getting me needing 314 max, and we just need to master it so it gets stronger. You see all those stuff. So like every since it's already max, uh, every time we win an encounter and he's got this equipped, one of these attributes will get one point added to it, and then once they're all maxed out, it'll be mastered. Like uh, here, uh, what's mastered? My, my see this is see it'll it'll just say mastered because everything's maxed out. And the Ganymedian Median has like almost every single attribute going to like 90 something or 99. Like, three of them go to 99. That's holy lightning and fire go to 99. Uh, ice goes to like whatever, probably like maybe 79 or something. And then, you know, wind probably goes to 90 something. But holy shit, bro, that's gonna be fucking insane. But yeah, this is max though. So then we're gonna, once we eventually use Simon, we'll fucking get that, and then get those two bad boys equipped, or uh, combined. Buddy didn't have a sword for Zegrim, which really pissed me off. Did I, I didn't, did I not buy that bow? I totally thought I bought that bow. I need to go back and buy that bow. I might just find an even better bow when I start doing, like, the actual game and stop looting, but, you know. I'm a fucking... I'm a loot-hungry mongrel, right? Don't fall behind, okay? Nice. Five tri-heels? That's dope. Yeah, it wasn't so good, but it was, like, okay, so, like, sometimes, like, when, when I, like, back in, like, the earlier game, when I was combining something, and then I maxed it out, and then I was, like, and then careful. I analyzed I it to find strange. out what it could use to be, like, like, what, what would be good to combine it with. Sometimes it would say one of the bows that I had used to combine to get that weapon, right? So... My thought process is the same in later game. Maybe I'll just grab the Moonbeam bow since I used that bow to get this bow and then upgrade it to combine it with this bow, probably get something stronger. You know what I mean? Pretty sure I already got this bow. Uh, it's not maxed out, but it's you know it's close. And since that is the case, then we can use this weaker bow for the time being. Once we max this out, then we can continue using the stronger bow. <sighs> we need to pull out Steve. Hmm. Maybe we'll do a. Uh... I like playing Zegrim and Simon, so once we upgrade Lilica and Steve, switch them out for Zegrim and Simon. Still wants me to go back there, but I wonder if there's more chests over here. But what can we do? Just these fucking guards. Look at this. Use the transporter. Our power. Will it work against Mother? 
Hopefully. I mean, we decimated that fucking giant beast. It's probably so still loot this way as well. Oh, uh, what? What? Why? Oh, elevator? Let's go. Another shop, homie. Maybe you got something for Zegger. Okay, we got Out of the frying pan into the fire. I was right. We got. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I'm. I'm jizzing in my pants. Ooh, Edenesia. Oh my god. What the hell is that? The game was all like, nah, you get three chests on that side and no chest on this side. Fuck you. I'm like, no, what? Why? Yeah, three chests. Three chests, my guy. The game was like, here, I'll, let me just nice you right here. What you got, bitch? You got weapons for Zegram? Aw, uh, you don't got any weapons. Uh, in development? Yo, I wonder if these are weapons. Sad. No weapons. So sad. <laughs> I'll take some of this, I guess. I didn't have any, so I was all like, why not? I'll take some. Maybe I'll need some in the future. Ooh, another chest. Thank you, game. I love you. Oh, welcome to the stream. Oh, dude, I don't need any more ancient scrolls. Everybody already has Burning Strike level 3. Everyone here is so positive. I mean, like, yeah, Steve, you're pretty cool. So, like, Steve, since he's a robot, he's, like, technically, you know, obviously an AI. But it's, like, the scientist that built him had, like, a dead child. He's basically Astro Boy. Because, like, I don't know I if you know who that is. I, I think maybe there's, like, a German version of Astro Boy. Or, you know, the Japanese, so that could also be. But, uh, um, fucking, you know, like, there's a scientist that has a dead kid. And he oh, wow. used like, yeah, Will he used like the consciousness. Uh, he like uploaded the consciousness of his dead kid or something like before, like I think before he died. I don't know. I can't, I can't really explain it to you. But like, uh, he, basically, he has the consciousness of his dead kid inside of Venture Steve, and an that's like what's hardship, like, that's like the core of Steve's personality, basically. Like it's a uh, like Steve is his own thing, but like. The kid is also there to enhance Steve's, like, this childish side. Yeah, he we put that boy into mother. robot. Yeah. Ah, uh, at last. At last we meet. I've waited so long for you to arrive. This is truly an honor. Ah. Uh. For me? Sorry, I just wanted to say this one little piece. Sometimes when you go to like a save point, it will like do the, like this little cutscene where it says meanwhile and like the scientist wants to like be updated on like the kids' adventures because like he can like shut down, he can get in contact with Steve and then shut down Steve for like a brief moment so he can talk to the child inside of Steve. But I, I don't think that Steve knows. But I haven't played in a while. I think that we got to a point where the scientist got arrested and he's thrown in jail. So that maybe doesn't happen anymore. And now Steve knows that there's a kid inside of him. But I'm not sure that Steve knows that there's a kid inside of him. 
Like, I may be wrong, but I know that the scientist is in prison because they found out what they did with his son. Yes. Only he who has the Star King. Yeah, bro, the scientist is the homie. He He's a great, he's a homie. But, like, you know, people are, like, like, yeah. So, after the prison chapter, we went to, like, the like like the the place where he works and it was being taken over by the blue guy that you don't like like the the that you the, the creepy looking homie whom that you don't like that's all that we play as uh jupus or you don't like him so he was taking over the company because he was like a scientist that got like fired or some shit he was like fuck you my technology's better and we'll start taking over the shit and that's how we got that barrier break gun because we had to fight him and he had a barrier and then we got the barrier break gun. We kicked his ass and then he joined our team. But uh, but yeah, so but the scientist was like, you know, he was held captive by like the um, uh, the the blue guy and then we like freed him and then it was all good. But then like the government pulled up and they're all like, hey, like you can't be doing that shit with children. And he's all like, but it's my child. And he's all like, well, you still can't be doing it. So they fucking arrested his ass. And that's basically what happened. It, it's basically some full metal alchemist shit. It's all like, but it's my child. I could turn her into a chimera if I want to. His blood in his veins can defeat mother and bring peace to the galaxy. I have the utmost faith in your power. And Princess Irith, within these woods, a trial waits for you. This trial is <clears throat> something you must overcome yourself. A trial? Yes, you will not be able to reach Mother's Lair without first going through this forest. Be strong, Princess. You must steal your heart. I believe in you. I have confidence that you will make it through these woods successfully. May you both find good fortune on your way. Are the woods really that bad? Yes, it will be difficult, especially for Princess Ariath. What... what does that mean? It's all right, Jester. Don't worry. I have no intention of giving up. I'm not going to fail. I mean, that's to totally fine. Planet, it's not like we're going to be using you. I was born. Kisala. All right. We're going to be Let's using... Go. Uh, li Thank you, Yuvan. Lilith? No. Goodbye. L Lilica. Good I fucking totally and forgot her name already. Lilica. We're going to be using Lilica How and Simon, it? and then Zegrim and... A fine young woman. Uh, Zegrim and Simon. My duties will come to an end. Yeah, she's just in backseat. Be able to die without she got a nice regrets. outfit, though. I am certain Princess Ariath will make your dream a reality, Lord Albion. The only she thing I want, for liter literally all I want, is an outfit that gives Jupus a fucking monocle. Maybe, maybe then you'll like Jupus better. If, maybe if he had a monocle. You know what a monocle is, right? They got monocles in Germany, don't they? of the room was an Eden. Yeah, like the little, like, like the, like the little one eyeglass that's attached to the rope that they pull up and off of their pocket or some shit. And be all like, oh yes, let me just look at this right here. I can just imagine Jupus sipping his cup of coffee with a little monocle. Why? Ah, uh, no, no problem, Nicholas. You have a good one, bro. Thanks for stopping in. Glad you joined. Glad you got interested in the game. Will it work against Mother? Hell yeah. I detect beasts everywhere. The effect of the rune is strong here. There's a chest. Nice, blue chest. That's very distinguishable on this green fucking surface. That is awesome. Guardian Sphere, dope. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh. 
Lilica picked that bitch up immediately. She was all like, I ain't fucking around. They told me they were stronger. That's how you get it done. Cheer up, everyone, and let's move on. We got another chest with baby. Two myriad branch. Here they come. Monkeys. Monkeys are easy, bro. Easy. Too fucking easy, bro. I was doing like almost a thousand damage. Yo, Steve levels up. Let's go. Yeah, I need almost 70k actually, not even 60k. I guess this is part like of our trials. Okay. Entering battle, everyone. Here they come. Oh. oh, oh my god. Don't fuck with the flammies. Don't fuck with the flammies, dude. Hit him with that electro punch, Steve. I got, I got you, bro. Safety lock disabled. Get it. Hell yeah, dude. That was a cinch. Sixteen sixty-three. Ah, oh, dude. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Um. Dope. I can't believe the source of the room was an Eden. I'll take you on. Here I come. Oh, Phantom. Oh, he's got the fucking guard on, so you gotta fucking charge up. Good job, everyone. up like crazy. The number of beasts keeps increasing. We're not on the wrong path, are we? Here they I'm just come. looking for some loot. Are you ready? Here they come. I'll hit you with that burning strike. Might be a little bit overkill, but you know. It's not like I can use burning strikes on bosses, which is kind of fucking stupid if you ask me. Oh shit, I meant to use the tri heal, but whatever. Her shit is pretty fucking cool, dude. That's how you get it done. Yeah, see, I didn't even see it. I didn't. I don't even remember what the challenge was. I just lost out on a fucking hunter medal there. Our power. Will it work against Mother? see two chests over there? Oh, that's a locked chest. I'll take you on. You, you, you monkeys are nothing. Why do you even bother showing up? Take him out, Steve. Oh, he's coming for me. That's the end of that. They give me plenty of XP, so keep coming. Keep coming if you want. Okay. Oh shit. We cannot run away from this one. Fuck. Here we go. 
I should have just used a try heal. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's get uh, you got the uh, you got a boost, right? Can you give us a boost. Increases enemies' defense power and causes damage. Get the voodoo dance on. Then we'll go with Steve's hyperdrive level two. And then I'll pull up with that illusion sword. Oh. Pleiades, Pleiades, Pleiades! Bro, mimics are so fucking powerful in this game, it's insane. Like, you really gotta pick your battles with the goddamn mimics. Like, if you accidentally pit, find a mimic, like, ah! Strange recurring dream. An evil sword and a sword of judgment appear before me. Judgment appeared before me, and in the distance, I think I heard a toad. I feel like something is trying to reach out into. Oh, yeah, I know about the toad. I know about all about the toad. Here I come. Oh, Here they come. boom! Got all three. Lilica, no, you need fucking the XP from this encounter. Or the weapon level, I guess. Not really the XP. We'll have to break through. Chest back in. Popping up like crazy. Entering battle, everyone. Oh, it's the flammy. Don't fuck with the flammy. Oh, Steve, you're a legend. Steve, the real goat. Steve, don't fuck around. Nice, fuck you, Clover. Strange being. Love higher attack, always love higher attack. Oh my god, I shouldn't have used that one on fucking. Probably gonna get more, but I need that Gelanium X fucking two. And is that Gelanium X three? I swear, if this is, it's probably not because it's only got two, but it could be. Possibility. We still got that. Mm, I don't know how that's gonna work. Maybe some like cutscene later in the game is gonna change his coin or some shit. Are you ready? Where the Flammies at? Keep them away from me. Flammies, no. Flammies, no. Flammies, take that. Okay, you're not bad. You're not that bad. Hey, Steve, Steve wore you down. That's how you get it done. Aw, oh, dude, I'm so close. I, I might get the Arc Scorpion. Oh my god, I'm so close. Pleadies, please, I swear. I swear oh, if you don't give me the Arc Scorpion, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be, like, depressed. 
Like, if it gives- I don't know why it would give me something lower, because it's literally Pleiades and then Arc Scorpion in, like, the weapon list. So it gives me something lower than Pleiades, but I'm gonna, like, curse the game out so fucking hard. I don't know, let's hit him with that fucking, uh, that desert one. <laughs> one hit kill. I think this guy was too far away. Any injuries, anyone? Oh my god, I just got oh my god. I just got a shark and for Zegrim, dude. Bro. Oh, oh it's weaker than that. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. So now, now that we have three, so I have this week one already max, and then this week one that I'm gonna max out, then I'll combine these two week ones, max out whatever I get, and then combine it, unless it's stronger than this. If it's stronger than this, then I'll just, then I'll max out this, and then max out the stronger one, and then combine that, and then have a really good shuriken for Zegrim, but a really fucking shit-ass sword, dude. So sad. But Zegrim has, like, a cool ability where he can split his sword in half and dual wield that shit, and oh my god, the combos are just I can't insane. believe the source of the room was an Eden. Here they come! Silver B. They come! Boom, oh, get stabbed. Don't cross our path. Pleiades. Our power, will it work against Mother? The spirits of the ancient kings. Oh, we got a shop, homie. Please have a sword for Zegrim. I swear to God, I will stab you if you don't. Grant peace to the souls of the defeated. No. And he's got he's got revelation items, so that ain't so bad. I will take the typhoon shield because it's golden. I have three plasma shields. I will take a blizzard shield. I'll take a prominent shield as well. It's that goddamn rose. That's insane. Don't fall behind, okay? Oh shit. No chest? Take you on. Oh, they're over here. Are you ready? Steve, you didn't watch out for the flammy like I told you. That's the end of that. Oh, bro, one more encounter. This is our destiny. We must destroy Mother. Oh, there's a chest back up there. Just wondering if there was one over here. Chin up, everyone, and let's move on. Nope. Are you ready? Should be you. 
easy, it's just ace. Uh, Steve's pretty low. And Lilith is pretty low. Please just just don't die. Just don't die, Lil Tough. Please just just don't die. Thank you. Everyone Holy okay. fuck. Nice. Okay, we're about to do a bunch of fucking combining. Y'all ready for this? Okay, I'm just gonna save Pleiades to last because I don't fucking trust it at all. <sighs> Combine. Okay, let's see here. Moonbeam bow. Oh, uh, I don't have Sunslayer bows. Not max yet. Mid, mid, whatever, 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 whatever. It's fine. Oh, a gigaton arms arm. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. But we can do Pleiades. I know we can do Pleiades. We'll just do Pleiades. Because I, I need that shit in my life. Okay, are you guys ready? Please. It's the Arc- it's the Arc Scorpion Plus, oh my god, we didn't just get Arc Scorpion, we got the upgraded version of Arc Scorpion, oh my god, guys, 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 oh, oh, I'm so happy, bruh, it, it couldn't have been any better than this, oh, oh, you wanna see, see that damage, see that 314, oh my god, Oh, bro, and those stats, all oh, those attribute stats, oh. fucking insane, dude, fucking insane. I'm kind of sad that it's like, it's kind of, it could be, eh, it's kind of red, I guess. It's also kind of pink. Did I equip their shit? Sun Slayer bow. You got that shit. Wait, I can, I can do his cannons though. Mm, the fearless X forty eight. Max version? Is that what it says on mine? Three, well, it's 314, so it probably is the max version. That's insane. Okay, well, we just got the strongest sub weapon for Steve. Dope. I think we might get the strongest main weapon for Steve after combining these. We might not, but it's a possibility. Yeah, we're still really weak on the fucking sub weapon and main weapon. Sub weapon for Jupus, main weapon for Zegrim. And the sub weapon for Zegrim is about to skyrocket once we start using him. Sub weapon for Simon could be a bit better too. Oh yeah, and fucking Digo is... Yeah, he needs a better axe, like, yesterday. Are you ready? Here they oh, come. shit. Challenge at all. Never even used my gun to try it out. <clears throat> no use standing around. Come on. Here they come. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can't wait till I'm after this shit out. Use that burning strike, baby. What? Oh, I guess I missed an X. That's totally my bad. That's how you get it done. Our burning strike is so different depending on what level you use. Of course, it's a mimic. Here we go. We cannot run away from this one. Hit him with the burning strike. Boom. 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 A boom. 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 Still didn't fucking kill him. Still didn't fucking kill him. That's how fucking strong a, strong a mimic is, dude. I can't even kill his ass with a goddamn burning strike. That is how strong I'm gonna do. Take that into account. Most of the time, so like, they got so much defense, bro. Like, it's insane. I should have used the Warrior God's Cry. That would have been a better choice. Or no, I did use the Warrior God's Cry. I should have used the Voodoo Dance because it would have lowered his defense. Hopefully. Are you ready? Here they come. Don't cross our path. Oh, we got another lucky clover. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Where are you at, Simon? Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Freeze defense, mid. I wanted to leave X level 3, but whatever. That's always nice. Aw, oh, dude, Radon Meteor, okay. I shouldn't have used that one. Use that. Uh, and then I'll just fucking use this, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I used the shooting star. It's fucking dark. It's like, uh... You like, charge up, you, like, charge up your attack or something, and then you can, like, fling your attack, like a ranged attack, but I don't know why you would want that when you have a fucking gun. Like, I, I just don't see the point. And it's a whole ability too, like 
I wanted the cursed strap. Oh, well. Oh, lovely. Awesome. Something useless. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Hello. Dope. Dope. He's got one move. Gotta love these enemies, right? Let's just, uh... Hit him with that illusion sword, you know? Because cause it's got that range capability. That wasn't the right enemy, but I still hit him anyways. Let's go. Okay, we're close on that Sunslayer bow. Don't fall behind, okay? Oh, hello, Mr. Chess. Dope. Useless item. Here they come. Are you ready? Willica, no. My honey. Oh, Steve with that burning quick level 3? I wonder. Chin up, everyone, and let's move on. We got a chest, we got Gabrina. I don't normally do anything. Oh, guess not. Here they come. Well, this, uh, this is still in the open area. I was gonna say they don't normally do encounters in the enclosed spaces. <laughs> Those guys were no challenge at all. Nice, Lilica leveled up. Now she needs sixty-seven thousand. Slayer Bow Z. I wonder if, the, yeah, three. I wonder if that's just the strong. Oh, I think that's the strongest one I can get. Oh. Okay, so. <sighs> I should start leveling up Zegrum. not attacking us. Let's get in the first strike. Wait! Something's not right. It's a human. Irias, is it really you? My beloved daughter. Huh? How eagerly I've waited for this day. The day that you would come back to me. Uh, dad Yes. I am your father, Albioth, King of Mariglen. I am so happy to see that you have grown up into such a beautiful young woman. Are you... Are you really my father? Then why are you... I don't understand. To save Mariglen, I went up against the cause of the evil destruction, Mother. But she was unimaginably strong. And there was nothing I could do. 
My beastly form is the price I paid. The price I paid for defying her. Uh, how terrible. You see, Mother is the source of all the evil beasts that exist in this world. She is a mass of rune energy, a fearsome monster with a strong will for destruction. There is no weapon that can be used against her. Even if there existed a weapon that could be used against her, she has eternal life. Mother cannot be defeated. Then what can we do? She destroyed my planet. Transformed my father. I can't let her get away with that. There is only one way. We have discovered a way to neutralize the power of the rune using Dragellum energy. If you pierce Mother's heart with a sword forged from Dragellum, you may be able to destroy her from the inside out. Dragellum. Where can we find one? Listen to me carefully, Irius. A Dragellum is... Servant, have you forgotten that you live only because of my mercy and generosity? Do not forget that you swore your allegiance to me. I can already tell we're about to fight the Your Mega. life is provided only as compensation for that alliance. As long as you live, you shall fight for me. Your life belongs to me. Dad! We've got to get away from here. Oh, Irius. Listen. You must defeat me. This is the trial that has been given to you. Uh, uh, if you cannot defeat me, you will never defeat Mother. Oh shit. Dad! Kasala! Let me go! No, Kasala! He's not human! Dad. All right. I'll save you from your suffering. You're sitting on the sidelines, bitch. The fuck? Don't you worry, Dad. Kisala, hold off! The room reading is increasing. What the hell is going on? Okay, okay, okay. Zagram, okay. Okay, maybe Zagram's not the best play because he's weak. We don't have any aroma. Sweet. That's why I didn't want to switch characters. I'm a fucking idiot. How oh, can I not uh, switch out the allies? Goddamn. Oh, this was a really bad idea. Holy fuck. We might die here. Are we doing damage to the guy? Segment down. Sorry about that. Okay, once we have Steve abilities. Zegrim abilities. The, the drunken burst, good sir. Thank you. And then get you with the with the hyperdrive. Safety And then I'll just throw on the the illusion sword, I guess. I feel pretty decent damage. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Uh oh, oh, not good. All right, they are better than last yeah, use that death break. This is gonna hurt. 
Okay, uh, we get that up those abilities. We got that illusion sword. That's a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, use that lightning. That's just pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I would love a drunken burst, dude. That would, that would be good. I'm not doing any damage. Why not? Oh. Fucking shit, dude. Holy crap. Really? Right right when I do all of my stuff, right when I put in all of the abilities, he jumps in right fucking on top of us. Wow. Thanks, game. Thanks. That's real nice. Sorry about that. Fucking Jesus Christ. <sighs> Why is he... <laughs> Fucking god, dude. The confusion ailment is so dumb. I don't know why, like, why can't it just make them run around in circles? Why do they have to attack me? Like, that shit is so stupid. Like, fuck off. So, like, you see, 1,096. Like, that's more than my, that like, he killed me in one fucking hit. Like, that's stupid. Oh, look at that. Fucking uses his OT move again. I get stuck on the rock. Holy fucking Jesus Christ. Like, this game is really starting to piss me off with this fucking boss fight. Like, what the hell? Am I playing Elden Ring? Like, piss the fuck off. Bro, look at him. Do it again. Fucking immediately. get like two hits off. Yeah, but you had a bunch of Thank OP you. shit. It wasn't fair. My beloved daughter. Daddy. Why? Why, Dad? We only just met. I could not die by myself, Arius. My body and soul are entirely under Mother's control. 
I cannot fight her. So you see, I had to be slain by another. For so long, I've dreamed for a chance to have one last look upon your face before I die. And now, that dream has come true. This makes it all the more easy for me. My long, arduous battle is approaching its end. No. You can't. This isn't right. Dad! I only just met you. You can't go. Now, listen to me carefully, my dearest Irieth. In order to defeat Mother, you must obtain Trigellum. This mysterious energy can be found deep within our hearts. Here, take this. This energy is produced in our hearts using the strength of our wills. It is the only thing that can nullify the rune's evil life force. If you can manage to gather all of your allies' trigellums, it may just be strong enough to bring an end to Mother's curse. Ahead Should I? Lies the Gulza Sanctuary. There you will likely be attacked by phantoms, born of the weakness in your hearts. Yeah, figured. Yet this may be what it takes to unsettle your hearts and draw forth the Dragoons. <clears throat> you who bear the Star King's powers. He yes. After all the Dragellums have been collected, go see Yuvan. He will forge your Dragellums into a single sword. Dope. It will become the ultimate weapon. Watch it still be weaker than Earthshaker. From the combined strength of your hearts. <laughs> all right. Take care of. My daughter. Yeah, bro. Jaster gonna put a baby in her. And take this planet back from mother. Dad. No. Don't leave me. You have another father. It's fine. Here if. Let me look upon your face one last time. I am so glad I... No! Very unenthusiastic no. Lord Albiath. I see that your wish has been granted. Please wait for me on the other side. I shall be joining you shortly. Are you all right, Kisala? Uh-huh. The valley is just beyond here. Let's keep moving. This story is so emotional. Hmm. 
Oh, shit, I already com- Oh, no way, okay. I guess we're just speedrunning chapters at this point. I think there's like 16. The ultimate sword. Is that how we can destroy Mother? Sanctuary that dad mentioned. Wow, this place feels really strange. What was that useless cinematic? I'll give it a shot. After all, I don't like bailing out in the middle of things. Here they come. Come on, try me. This is bad. challenge at all. Courage and foolhardiness are not the same thing. This is getting out of hand. Here they come. Bastard. Entering battle, everyone. What is mother? 
together anyway. Counter. Chin up, everyone, and let's move on. Here they come. Here they come, the bastards. Good. 
Those guys were no challenge at all. Tregellum? How are we supposed to obtain them? Here they come! Here they come! Bastards! Okay, okay. Alright. He obviously wants to use on him. Jester! this guy. Zegram upgrade. Popping up like crazy. This just goes around a corner to the other path. Ah, this should help us put our skills to the test. Here they come. Out of my way. Oh man, I'm a goner. game over.
me sweating buckets! I think that's our- I think that might be the highest. It's a 314. I don't know if I can combine this with that. challenge at all. of the heart. I really don't like the sound of that. Here they come! Watch your weapons! Come on, try me! I, will, I bet we're gonna see that random woman that we see sometimes here on Eden, which is gonna be hilarious. I'll give oh, it a shot. Some three After chests all, over there. like bailing out in the middle of things. Get it done. Awesome. Mimic. Yep. Here we go. All right, let's get this over.
Okay, we need the... Or how about we just go... The Gelanium X level 2. And we'll use this Inferno Vortex. That was okay, I guess. Uh, and then I shall use my flash sword. I do zero damage. Like, what is that, bro? Sorry about that. Okay, let's get the drunken burst from Zegram. And then we'll just use another supernova. Blow up the planet again. I love this cinematic. Two supernovas, though, and a couple attacks. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the mimics. Fuck. Nothing but tough guys, huh? Yeah, you got it. We're gonna have trouble getting through here. about what needs to be done. Here they come. Here they come, bunch of wimps. Yeah, I'm right in the thick of it. Zagram is not strong enough for this. No use standing around. Come on. I'll take you on. Here they come. Bunch of Guys were no challenge at all. Pa 
popping up like crazy. Battle after battle, we gotta get through it. the max so 48 Digo and Zegram are my wor on my weakest is still pretty weak on the sub weapon. I think those are two. Well, that's not max map, but that's like max not plus. That's max plus. So like, if anything, I should be using Steve and Simon.
they come? Bunch of weapons. Into the battle, everyone. Over there. How you get it done. Trigellum? How are we supposed to obtain them? Entering battle, everyone. I'll take you on. This is bad! That's the end of that. No challenge at all. No use standing around. Come on.
the end of that. Feeling a little more laid back. Oh my god. For who? For who? Was that, was that for Kasala? It said Destructo Attachment. That was for Digo. Oh my god. 
Got a new Digo skin? What would his Digo look like now? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's got armor. Like, it's all cosmetic and shit, but wow, he looks so cool. That's so dope. Does everybody have a new outfit now? I think everybody has a new outfit except for Jupus. Me, Digo, Simon, Kasala. Uh, Jupus is right here. Doesn't have a new outfit yet. Everybody else does. So sad. All right. Thanks for thank, thanks for the fashion show, Digo. challenge at all. Having to constantly switch to the fucking burial weapons. Oh no, somewhere somewhere along the lines in this game, they just decided, oh, he's not fighting enough barrier enemies. Let's just do it every single fucking encounter.
scene. Oh. Digo first, what? Hey, Digo. What? The, an illusion? Hey there, Digo. I haven't seen you around lately. Are you getting the hang of that military work? Huh. This guy started passing all the top class training routines as soon as he joined up. He's on the fast track to being a military elite. But this is... Have I gone back in time? Just how long are you planning on standing there in the doorway? God damn. <laughs> you know, as it happens, I have something to give you. Remember? Back in the academy? <coughs> the bet we made? That if one of us were to die in battle, Whoever survived would take the other's coin. He'd keep it his whole life as a reminder of the other. That way it would be as if the two of us were fighting together until both of us were gone. That's right. You've hit the nail on the head. It was a cheesy testament that we made to our friendship. Therefore, this coin here belongs to you. What do you mean? Sorry. I've got to be heading out. <coughs> Never die, Digo. Oh, because we needed Digo's coin. We I'm had really Gale's we, you. we have Gale's coin, you and it Angela, won't fit in the revelation. The we needed Digo's coin. In my life. That makes sense. <laughs> Digo, Angela, goodbye. Take care, Gail. <laughs> Is Gail? Yes, he's gone on a journey. <laughs> to a place everyone will wind up one day. But before he left... He managed to reclaim everything that he had lost. I wasn't expecting to do Digos first. Wow. The Dragellum of Friendship. I will fight on, my friend. And no matter how strong my foe, I will defeat it. This is cool. After all, with both of us fighting, there's no way we can lose. Brotherly love. Officer's coin transformed into the keepsake coin. That's why. Oh, dope. Oh, we're back, we're back in the center! I was literally just thinking I didn't want to fucking go through all of that. Dope. Dope game. Fucking dope game. It was meant to be that goddamn right, and we just need a flower shape mark. The rose or whatever it said flower shape mark. That's Where hilarious. are we? Man, not these guys. This one's tricky. We're not on the wrong path, 
are we? I'll take you on. What a waste of time. No, no phantom. No, there is phantom. We're not done yet. No devils. Oh, we have some electro left now. Huh? Stop! That's the end of that. Hopefully it kills them all. Dope. Everyone okay? Watching me, who do you think is next? I don't even know if you know all the characters' names. I want to say. I want to say Jufus is next. Rare items, power of the heart. 
Relaxing aroma. Fucking awesome, dude. Sweet. Can't even charge up to do to take out All the right. fucking thing because of the ranged attack. that I need it. Here goes! Oh, come on! 
That's how you get it done. Alright, so my guess is Jupus. It's Jaster? Okay. Alright. I guess I have no I have no Can idea what kind something? of pattern they're going if for. I go into space one day, what would you do? Would you come with me? No. I like this planet just fine. I'd wait here for you to come back. Hmm. Okay. Going up into space has always been my dream. And now here I am. Just as I'd hoped I would be. So many amazing things awaited me here. Just like I'd always imagined. How long are you planning on standing around? Why not come over here and have a seat? Huh? Are you talking to me? Who else? Hmm? How do you feel about space now that you've seen it? Well, let's see. It's just as fantastic as I pictured it to be. My life here is full of suspense. Excitement, fear, and lots of fun. And I can feel it all so deeply. Ah, so your dreams come true then. Yeah. Hmm? So you mean your dream was just to go up into space? That's boring. What? My dream is more than just going into space. I'm going to change the universe. Because, like, there's not a lot of food on this planet. I, I bet that somewhere out there, maybe there's a plant that can grow in the desert, you know? Or maybe a medicine that'll cure any sickness. Or a weapon that'll drive out all the bees at once. Who knows? Space has a lot of possibilities. So that's why I'm gonna go out there and do whatever I can to make all the planets better places. That's my dream. What do you think? It's way bigger than yours, huh? How could I have forgotten? My childhood dream wasn't just to go into space. I wanted to accomplish so much more. As I grow up, I'm forgetting my childhood dreams.
Sorry about that, got a random call. One by one. But some dreams shouldn't be forgotten. I thought it was of remembrance or of memory, but dreams makes a lot more sense. You okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just hope all your dreams come true. Uh huh. So, you've remembered. There is much left for you to do. Make this child's dreams, your dreams, a reality. Go now, Jaster. Mm -hmm. Dope. challenge at all.
Here they come. Here they come. Now we're talking. Don't cross our path. Don't fall behind, okay? Here they come! Bunch of wimps! I'll take you on. Oh, man! I'm a goner. Everyone okay? Popping up like crazy. Can we really win this? What a waste of time. He's the one, bro. He's the one running. The enemy was the run. You saw that, right? The enemy was the run running away. The one running away. He didn't want any of the fucking smoke. I had to chase his ass down. Battle after battle. We gotta get through it. We'll have to break through. Oh boy. Here they come. Oh, I ran out of fuel. Love that. I'm a try heal now. Okay. We're gonna have trouble getting through here. We're not on the wrong path, are we? No, this took a technically what was supposed to be come. a shortcut. Here they come! Bunch of weapons! Probably got the chest back there, though. Back there around the corner, I'd say. Popping up like crazy. This really is a mysterious place. Just keep coming. Here they come. Bunch of wimps. Wow, awesome. Love it when I spam shit. Everyone okay?
Flash sword every time those guys come in. It really helps. We're gonna have trouble getting through here. I think I'm gonna end the stream after we'll I get this next spear. I've been playing for a bit. I'm kind of hungry. I'm feeling really lucky today. Alright, I, I think, I really think it's Jupus now. I really think it's Jupus. Isn't there a better way to go? Oh? Oh? No. No. It's Zagram and his wife. Uh, excuse me. Yes? What is it? Would you be able to tell me where Gate 18 is? Uh, Gate 18? It's over that way. Do you know how to get there? Oh, I'll find my way somehow. Uh, are you traveling too, miss? Yes, I sure am. I'm on a trip to find happiness. Right now I'm just waiting for my traveling companion. Oh, there he is, see? Over there. Ah, yes, I see. He looks like a fine fellow. Now, that's a man who can make you happy. I can tell these things. Well, I've taken enough of your time. I'd best be on my way. Wouldn't want to make him jealous, am I right? <laughs> Thanks again. You take care now. You too. Bye. That's so sad, bro. We're supposed to go on a trip together. Bro, that's so We're sad. To do it, Gene. But, bro, I can't even process that. No, it happened right in front of his face. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay, a nigga could understand why he wanted to try and bring her back, like, goddamn, fuck, dude, I'd try and bring her back, oh, fuck, shit, no, that is just, that's insane, bro, to be fair, though, that old man probably died from the way she, uh, she pushed him, so, like, I don't know what he's saying, but saved an old man. Jane, is it really you? I didn't die in vain, Zegram. I saved an old I man's life. That old man. Yeah, he's probably gonna die in a couple that. weeks. <laughs> Besides, what would you have done if you were in the same situation? Well, he would have turned around. He would have fucking slain the beast instead of pushing the old man to the ground. 
but that's the kind of person you are. Yeah, but he would have survived. Always acting tough, never showing your true self. God to damn, bro, <laughs> them titties though. Sacro. that's why I fell in love with you. Oh hell yes, Jane. I never once heard a straightforward word pass your lips, but now at last, I want to know how you really feel. I want to know your true feelings towards me. How I really feel. What do you mean by that? <laughs> fine, fine, I get it. I'll tell you, all right? I don't know. It's just that, well, I'd never loved anyone before. Jane. You were the first woman I'd ever cared for. I... I loved you. I wanted to be with you forever. You were the only thing that mattered. But you... You... <laughs> Thank you, Zegro. Bro, it's so sad. <laughs> I wanted us to be together forever. <laughs> Bro, the emotions, oh my god. I'm also yelling because it's boring as fuck. Thank you. But now we must part, Zekrom. I know you'll be able to love again. You have such a big heart. Here, this is for you. Oh, dude, I already know it's of love. It's gotta be. Dragellum of love. Called it! Fucking called it! Let's go. Farewell, Zagram. Jane! Wait! Don't leave me! Jane! Bro, that must be fucking so sad for him. Oh, we get a cutscene. Is Zegroom gonna leave? He's like, this is too much for me, bro. I just saw my dead wife. Or my dead girlfriend, bro. <laughs> oh, something's happening now that we got a bunch of spheres. Oh, it's Mother. Oh, it's Radagon Meteors. Yo, that hit Simon like three times directly, and he's still standing. Fucking God. Jester, look. No way. Could it be? That's what it looks like. The one behind all the room. Mother. <clears throat> wow, a physical form? Foolish humans. Do you think you can defeat me with measly Dragellum power? She stole her Dragellum! No! Our Dragellums! <laughs> you have no need for such triggers. I mean, yeah, I got Earthshaker. Now! Let me show you just how futile it is to oppose me! Bow before my power! Oh. Damn. She just shits She's on us. Right. We just don't even get this to try. This is totally out of our league. I have surpassed all life forms. My powers are infinite. Mere human. Bro, that's how you know she's strong when they beat you in a fucking cutscene. Because most of the time in a cutscene, you're just too overpowered. Like Kingdom Hearts cutscene, killing enemies in one hit. Fucking cutscenes in this, fucking Jaster was jumping like as high as like skyscrapers and fighting fucking monsters that I could never dream of fighting in the actual game. Because, you know, I would die in two seconds. Like you could never defeat me. 
If only it weren't for the and it would they were like 20 times the size of this little fucking worm so it's insane that she's fucking you know destroying us silly trigellums the galaxy would be blessed with eternal peace time to face the true humans no the queen's lackeys how impudent oh it's the archaeologist dude And that robot. <gasps> Ragnar! Listen here, robot. This isn't getting us anywhere. Can't you do something? How about you unleash some of your ancient power, eh? I have drawn energy from all of Mariglent to construct a barrier. Brilliant! Whatever you just said, then let's do that! <laughs> what precisely did you think this would do to me? No matter, your power won't last long anyway. And when it runs out, it's the end of the line for you all. Oh, we got a Dragoon back, dope. you get here on no Ragnar obviously now. I'll explain everything later the Queen told me all about you folks I have used the power of Mariglent to form a barrier even mother will not be able to harm us for a while anyway come we must hurry there are still Dragellums to be collected you will do that like another time the final battle has already begun yep come on robot let's get out of here and go tell the Queen What we got? What's or nuts from that? So, if there's four others, and there's five, there's five of the pathways. So one of the pathways must be like going to fight mother. I already got one of the Dragellums from the homie. Dragellum of kindness. I just kind of want to know what Strange Beam is. It's not even. I don't even have the homie of. Is mother afraid of the power of Dragellum? I'll take you on. There's a fucking devil rat. Who does he need with him? Steve and Digo's deadly combination attack? Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Be careful, everyone. I can't get uh, level forty. Oh, sad. We went down. Haven't been doing much of that. Alrighty, thank you for watching the stream. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Whatever game I'm playing, I don't know. How far are we?